go. All right, hello everybody. Oh, hello everybody. I'm Diamond Dust. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Cyberpunk Red, where you don't own anything, but you still pay for it anyway. Or uh, I don't know. Or is was it uh, where the points don't matter and the rules are made up? <laughs> ah, who cares? Anyway, <laughs> uh, I uh, am here with uh, the gang today. We're going to get some things finalized for uh, the upcoming groups. That way, I can send the info to get us some good branding, and also uh, we're going to talk about. So our upcoming characters, what we got in mind, and just basically, I got, I got, I, 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 I got to be a responsible GM and uh, get my notes down. <laughs> I had to take a break last week because I was just, oh, so we're uh, here. So where is Team Toxic's old uh, sheet here? Um, well, let's go ahead and uh, wipe all of these. Uh, achievements for from this party you guys no. have, you guys used all your plus twos and i used all my minus twos mm -hmm. but do we have an idea on what we want to name this uh misfit group of uh edge runners because like i don't know for some for some reason i was thinking like team asphalt don't eat it <laughs> they, they, I, I, <laughs> How did we well, get I... here? Well, <laughs> team long strange journey. <laughs> but it's a journey because the band might sue. <laughs> I mean, shapers. Mm. <laughs> Don't stop believing in that. I guess. <laughs> We nope. had to. That's the only way they would stop coming after us for their our money. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm joking. What, is Buddy going to be like that? Like, hey, that's my song. Fucking pay up. <laughs> oh, it, it would be something like if I if Buddy were a... Uh, had, had joined like a... Uh, well, you know what? I'm lost. Come back to me on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Error, error 404. Thought not found. Yeah. It's... <laughs> dot, so dot, dot. Making our way in the round here. Uh, Ock Raven, you'll be taking slot number four, by the way. Um, actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and let everyone do introductions here while I... Do, while I uh, do my, my, my final things, get my uh, information gathered here. So uh, we'll start off with Jack. You don't know me by now? God damn. Does the audience the know who you, you are? are? They should. <laughs> <laughs> I am Dakri Jack, and I don't know what the shit I'm doing. <laughs> oh, but I'm doing half the time. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Burn and booping. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Sasha. The meat Hi, gods I'm have been the Yep, I, I realized before you said. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be playing Magpie, or the fixer of the group. The older sister to the little Jays. Basically, she grew up with the little Jays and is uh, a, a little too old to technically be part of them now, but she still looks out for them. Uh, I mean, you're, you're kind of in a position like Molly Anderson where you're part of the gang, you're just not... One of the youth anymore. Yeah. Um. And let's I, see. I do have uh, art for her as well, so. Woo. Yeah. Then we got Ock Raven. Uh, the mute gods have once again been appeased. <laughs> we are appeasing the mute gods today, <laughs> folks. Yep. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Good. Uh, good morning, everybody. Sorry about that. Uh, my name's Ock Raven. It's all good. Uh, you can find me at Instagram at Ock Raven Gaming. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ock Raven. Uh, in this wonderful campaign, I'm going to be playing your Italian American netrunner named Backslash. 
can't wait to get you know, be able to dump in, uh, jump right into that. Um, good morning, Born Journal. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Really happy All to be right. here. So backslashes Netrunner. Yep. Uh, if I remember correctly, your exec is Thornton, right? Yep. Uh, all right. Because he hits like a truck. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, you've even got the boxing ring back in, or yeah. wrestling ring background. Love it. He's well, in uh, Night Hill, City, like, with the way uh, shit gets, fuck. you're going to have like a plexiglass octagon with an actual roof on it. In case shit goes <laughs> flying out of the out of the cage. All right, um, and of course, uh, for the, uh, for the first uh, few months, we're going to have Buddy, who is a rocker boy. Any more ideas on Buddy in particular? Uh, Buddy is from West Texas, wants to be the greatest musician that's in Night City, and um, has to and is like a master sword fighter because you know why not? And fairly certain there are other guitarists <laughs> and musicians out there that follow Highlander rules, so he's going to have to <laughs> keep his I, head in check. I I still think it would have been cooler if you if you'd had him be, wield an axe, so an oh, axe that's an axe, a literal axe. <laughs> yeah. Well, all, all I keep thinking of, you know, with the fighting theme and all that, is now we have the Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also supposed to I, I think we're also supposed to make uh, other people to wrestle Thornton over there I think that would be come on that. I, Just I, oh, I, I, I've been working on a bu bunch of them uh, of course uh, you know if you guys because I, I was looking for some names to throw into the bunch and uh, well I, I've, I've, got, I've got a few um but I suppose with, with this uh, mix that we got, because we've also got um, Bedlam, who is playing a... Uh, I'm trying to remember what... what Be is Bedlam playing uh, Tech? Yeah, correctly. Bedlam's playing the Pyrotechnica. Kenny Tech. Pyrotechnica. What a name. <laughs> that's a good name. Well, I, I, I don't know if that's their name. It's just that they, yeah. they work Pyrotechnics for the show. And I, I'm not sure if Trinity had decided on... I, I think... No, was it Nomad? Was yeah, it I Nomad think she was going to be like a biker chick or something. Yeah. Or... Uh, I thought she uh, was going think... to be like a stoned... Like a big... Oh, no, yeah, she's going to be the ringside medic, yeah. Yeah. We have med tech that's high on life and... <laughs> recreational... And all those things. All right. Well, it seems uh, we've kind of got more of a recurring theme trending towards uh, live, uh, definitely not scripted e entertainment. What's uh, <laughs> our bread and butter, man? And, uh, oh, real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, 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 I could just get that, like, like with just so that sound, sound they just like. Occasion Macho Man Randy Savage. That, that's just <laughs> like, oh boy. <laughs> um, but I sp suppose uh, other than that, um, we're gonna probably like see seeing how uh, Jim won't be with us come spring, um, since uh, classes. Uh, we will probably uh, <clears throat> you know, run this uh for first bunch of episodes which would be like november to uh january or like what was it, like second week of february for you i or think something? i will have to get back to y'all on that and uh, no worries yeah. i will let y'all know like as soon as it flips around but yeah but yeah we'll uh yeah, you know, get get y'all lined up, and I think we'll 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 do something nice, short, fast for uh, buddy. Much like a, a high on, uh, much like a high after huffing some gasoline, it's good, and then it's gone. Uh, <laughs> Who's huffing? What? Look, I, I see a thing or two with my line of work. It just makes me think of the cyanide and happiness. I'm high on life. 
In fact, I'm addicted to it and literally sucks the soul out of the other guy. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, that's what do we right. play? <clears throat> that's par for the course. But uh, all Craven's definitely seen that one. <laughs> I very much have, yes. <laughs> but yeah. Also, ran a haunted vending machine last night. These guys did really fucking well. Like, they, I mean, they. So. Yeah, we, we killed the also, vending machine. Those things are fuckers, so. <laughs> well, so, well, one of us killed the vending machine. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll be Not starting like a in goddamn the. goddamn machine gun, I swear. <laughs> We'll start. We'll be starting in like the, like in game. It will be the second week of July. By the way, it's it's hot. So if you're wearing heavy armor, oof. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Other than that, folks, uh, do we have uh, any thoughts coming from uh, the crew in regards to expectations, thought of like what they want out of this game? fun like okay yeah. all right we primarily fun. fun yeah uh, making sure everybody gets their moment yeah um preferably not getting shot in the back this time uh, yeah 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 <laughs> just a little usually helps yeah just a scope just a scope i thought i had turned on my cnu branding earlier uh, anyway, there we go. <clears throat> so, uh, we 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 won't be working. Uh, uh, we won't. We'll, we'll have like actual overlays come uh, next yeah. week. It was just uh, I'm just using the, the the personal setup for now until we get there. But um, I know it's absolutely trippy. <laughs> Uh, my my thoughts are with uh, this upcoming campaign though. Um, it, I'm. I, Compared to, in, in the way I'm going to describe this, because I don't know how else to describe it, is I'm going to be, instead of you guys following the camera, uh, the camera is following you. Okay, okay, so sort of like a documentary sort of thing? Basic, yeah, basically I'm going to be following all of you. Uh, <laughs> don't mind, don't mind me, I'm just, the, I'm just the media in the background. <laughs> Tonight I'm behind the music. <laughs> a tragic beginning and ending of Night City's prominent guitarist, Buddy. <laughs> you know, that hooker I... was a cop. <laughs> well, her name was Holly. <laughs> well, <laughs> <Hi -oh. All right. <laughs> you guys, I'll be here all week. Oh, oh I was so... Your waitresses. Uh, <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> oh. Are you okay, Diamond? Uh, I'm great. I'm great. Um, <laughs> nobody expects a Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> I mean, they have several elements. I mean, <clears throat> surprise and where's the other one? Surprise. Four. They, they have four. <laughs> But, uh, um, other I mean, than the, that... The character does have a personal goal, at least, that we've already worked out, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, just hoping to set up a new nest for the little jays. And, uh... Yeah, a new nest that, uh, uh, will be self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. So, working on getting, like, food and drink, and, uh... Eventually access to, like, weapons and cyberware and stuff, so... Arming the children of the street. Everybody well, I mean, wants it's, toys it, for it's Christmas. It, it's dangerous out there. Yeah. Take this. <laughs> dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Give him a shotgun? Well, it's dangerous. It's so. Oh, alternatively, Hans Pistol, go do a crime. <laughs> just, 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 just hands him a magnum opus <laughs> Hellbringer. The kid's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Win. <laughs> Go crime. <laughs> if, if you have to ask, you're too young for it. Here, take something smaller. <laughs> oh, man. Palmer, mm -hmm. one shot again? Oh, no. Definitely not going to be giving out those pieces of shit. <laughs> Here's the Hello Cutie. Not... Just don't hit the auto fire unless you're sure. <laughs> not all Palmer one shots are bad. <laughs> 
They're just poor quality. <laughs> Gun March just bad. Yeah. <laughs> here, here, here's an emo here's an emotional sport shotgun. <laughs> Stroke it here. Nah, anyway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, the ra look the rack of this shotgun should just be enough to send them running. You don't even need to fire an actual shell, Gun Mart. When enough is just enough. All right. That's, everybody enjoys a good rack. Oh yeah, everybody loves a rack. Oh my god. <clears throat> so we we are on fire with these puns today. Well, these aren't your yeah, dad's. I can, sm I, I can smell the puns. smoke. I can smell the smoke. Yep. <laughs> we just need we just need Bedlam's character to be here and we might actually literally be on fire. <laughs> How many times have I lit Bedlam on fire during the last campaign? <laughs> actually, I need, I need to see. How many times did I light people on fire in the last campaign? Because I seem to have a tendency towards lighting uh, people I don't on think fire. you did. Once. I think you lit me in... Because there was a vending machine with a flamethrower. Yep. Yep. All oh, right. Yeah, but Be Bedlam was... tried to kick flip off the off the vending machine and got blasted. That was that was during the stickball thing, wasn't it? <clears throat> yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. So and then didn't someone hack it and start and start shooting at the NPCs? <laughs> I, I, I I seem to recall that. What was that you, Jack? What's so damn special about Twitch that it needs a million long character passwords? You know, C Dot, that's a great question. I don't have an answer yet. I don't know. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> because it saves money on cybersecurity to put all the work on you and not the company. So yep. if you just make your password longer, we don't have to actually you know invest in our servers. The answer is capitalism. <laughs> Hey, speaking of capitalism, that's like a major uh, point in this game. <laughs> but anyway, C Dot, welcome to the channel. Welcome to CNU. Uh, the, the the we're we're over on like the overlays I normally use for my channel, so don't mind the info all over. But or do will I mean I guess if you if you want, but uh, Gath <laughs> Gaster. <laughs> <laughs> Because you need a strong password. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> oh, that... I can I can literally read that. Oh, that no, no that, that that reminds me of that uh, 40k password meme. It's like the password is the flesh. Password is too weak. <laughs> <laughs> Adeptus Mechanicus heavy breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I can already hear it's the accurate. stampede of Warhammer fans. <laughs> what do you mean? We're all here. It's great. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not wrong in any way, shape, or form about that statement. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... So, uh, with, with the, uh... I'm thinking, like, with the wrestling, uh, circuit, like, it, it, there, there will be a story in there. It's just going to be much more from match to match compared to... And probably also seeing, like, you and dealing with uh, N54 and, you know, how they're uh, handling it. Yeah. That's, yeah, I got to think about that because this, this is why I'm going exact in the first place. Because, you know, he's not going to be a rocket boy because that's manipulating people. He's not doing that. He's, he's the talent. Could have been a solo, but yeah, that's too obvious. But exec, oh yeah, we're giving you a house. We're giving you to, uh, these people that work for you. Yeah, all you need someone you, to drive you around. Right. All you got, to do, all you you got to do is wrestle. <laughs> right, right. But we know where you live. We got somebody that watches you. We can hang health insurance over your head, which is always uh, an evil corporate yeah. thing. You know? <laughs> Hey, you also get a nice That's, suit. And a nice suit? Well, yep. you need that for the uh, some of the promos. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 you know. When, uh, and when you, and you, just might have, I, you, you just might have to take a dive now and then for, for good television. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yeah, don't 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 mind that your leg doesn't work right now. It, it, it's fine. Your leg is fine. Just. And, and, uh, I mean, and, Ender, did I hear it that was before? a free neural link? So somebody has that button. <laughs> Um, uh, we to you totally need to get the uh, sponsored real skin covering. I oh. really thought about that. I, I almost did, but my humanity is already pretty bad to begin with without I adding another don't... arm. <laughs> the... uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You need a cyber arm for that, don't you? Because I started to get the uh, uh, the rush. Are arm. you already getting ten shakes? Oh, oh okay. So I started to get that, and it's like, oh, wait a minute, you know, if I'm going to be doing the frame and all that kind of stuff, eh. so. Because <laughs> one of the things I'm doing, and this is a side thing, and this is kind of what I want to talk with you guys about, is I, right. I got the Brain Dance Recorder, because the side project is that he's selling XBDs on the side of his matches. Which is why yeah, sure we a mixer. To... Wait, B BDs or XBDs? Because there, there's well, a big difference. Well, XBD, as I understood it, it was just raw, as opposed to filtered. No, and, and a, a, X X B uh, XBD is uh, snuff. Well, that too. <laughs> well, well, I mean, good. that right <laughs> in, in, in the fight in the fighting league. I mean, it might just turn out to be an XBD. Uh, generally, the XBDs involve death. <laughs> Some people are into erotic trampling. You can't fault that. <laughs> there's a there's a huge thing, especially in like 2077, of uh, gore porn, gore killings, yeah. and things like that. BD market in the game, if you actually look closely. So, it is a sought after commodity, no matter how messed up you may think it is. Mm -hmm. Well. It really su surprises me, though, the crowd that's into it is normally, like, people higher up the chain, like... That, that... You'd imagine they'd want to avoid the feeling of death as much as possible. No, they, they... They, 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 want to feel, they want to feel what it's like to do it to other people and that, without uh, having to get their own hands dirty. Yep. They would experience someone else's fear because they are truly untouchable, so this is how they get off, is on other people's fear, like... Japers. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, also see that that Should sounds we really had cool. Faces of Death in the nineties. <laughs> nice. Yep. Faces of Death. It was like this old timey like video series. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh it yeah. Was like, yeah. Portrayed this as big. <laughs> and yeah, in it, humanity. It, it, it portrayed as this was real and it yeah. it really wasn't. I think there was like some Japanese version of it called Pink or Peach or something like that. Jeepers. And they were pretty much, I think Charlie Sheen watched one back in like the early 90s, and he thought oh, it was real. Is that what fucked FBI. him up so much? <laughs> uh, that and a bunch of other things, I don't know. Yeah, that, that, you know, that and all the fucking this drugs. Must be, <laughs> just, just this must be something I am too 1999 <laughs> to understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're, just, you're just a baby compared to the rest of us. A baby, Sasha. I'll have you know, I, I, I'm a full-grown woman. Thank you very fucking much. I'll fucking bite you. Sure, sure you are, hon. And that. I am woman here in the room. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah. I... XPD. So that's 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 freaky deaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's... But hey, it gets the bill also... stay, right? Yeah. I really hope we get to use Night City Tarot a little bit more in in, in this group because uh, <laughs> I I witnessed uh, yesterday with uh, my paid group, um, which uh, of course we will be bringing back Night City Tarot for this game. Mm -hmm. Are you guys fine with that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, my awesome. my my character won't be uh, won't be contributing towards it at least for the start because well, uh, her you're... her weapon cannot crit. Oh yeah, that's right. It cannot crit. Yep, yep, yep. What are you running? What is Magpie carrying? Uh, Magpie. She is, she is armed and dangerous. <laughs> ah. <laughs> she, gotcha. she, she, yeah. she has the red line Blitzkrieg uh, arc throw. Oh. 
Oh. Little, little tiny, little tiny woman with a uh, big blaster arm, but yeah. But only one hand. Um. <laughs> call him the shocker. So. <laughs> it looks no, that's like something very different. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. that's also true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ended up having someone that that holds strength, which just adds an extra twenty five damage onto your like before armor, on your uh, damage roll, and it's like, whoa, <laughs> bad guy got squished. I forgot how good this <laughs> stuff was. Yeesh. No, they don't go squish. They, they they there's just like nothing left. It's just a big streak on the on the pavement. <laughs> so. So for still sticking with the flat on the pavement thing, I had to write some a prompt for a science fiction show. show. So I went a cyberpunk route, and the main character had a, I guess, a grenade launcher in the forearm. So he shoots this big giant guy that's about to kill him, and I just left it as the rest of them's on the wall. His legs are still trying to figure out how to walk, and then they collapse on their own. Yeah, something like Very that. Very nice. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, that, yeah cool. that that's pretty pretty in line. Uh, so I I think uh, looking at this group, I think we're lo, lo, looking at kind of where you all are from. Diamond Thornton is. Uh, I just got a perfect name for the group. What team shock and all? <laughs> shock and all. Like yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my Ma god. Magpie brings the shock and everyone else is the all. <laughs> or, you know, all of us make jokes and one of us goes, oh. <laughs> oh. That's all right. There we go. Or <laughs> someone makes a joke and it leaves the, the narrator yeah. just cut. Oh. That happens just... a lot, let, let's be honest. <laughs> yes, it it leaves me in shock. <laughs> all right, well, team shock and awe sounds pretty fucking good. Good job, Sasha. Good job. Nice. Hey, when you get home, there's going to be another roof on your house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, I, I, I suppose now is a good time as ever to cover our sponsors. Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure how late I'll be going here, guys. But yeah. I, I figured we, we, we chatter a bit. Chat, hang out with chat, I'm going to hang out with chat. But, of course... Today's episode has been brought to you by Lion Banner Games, Studio Agate, Free League Publishing, Sirenscape, Fantasy Grounds, Modiphius, and Loki Battle Mats. Uh, thanks for everything you all do. And, uh, of course, as always, go check the, these uh, wonderful uh, sponsors out. Loki Battle Mats I use uh, personally. Highly recommend. Um, and uh, I've played uh, Dragon's Bane by uh, Free League Publishing. Which was actually really good. I played that with uh, Emeron over on his channel. It's really fun. Me, the not like the cl the class that has like no specialization of weapons, ended up killing the boss. Uh, at at the end of that, <laughs> you scholar. See how it goes though. Yeah, and with nothing else than a stick. <laughs> All you need. Um, I can swing this really hard, man. <laughs> Of course, you know, we do use Sirenscape uh, normally. Um, I just have, like, uh, my uh, copyright-free music going at the moment. But let's see, what else? I'm trying to think. Lion Banner, I don't know if I've played anything from Lion Banner yet. Well, like, what what what, what games do Lion, does Lion Banner make? Let me just have a look. Uh... And... Also, uh, want to play the Blade Runner TTRPG at some point. Uh, they do such games as Hellwatch, Infernal Oath, The Crimson Tower, Multiverse Battle, uh, Tomb of the Colossus Gods, Kentaro's yeah. Revenge, Showdown in Chinatown. Right. I have to have a look at some point. But of course, uh... Let's see. We, as a group, I, I, l looking at like where all y'all might most likely be. It looks like you're gonna primarily be in the overpacked suburbs, if that works for a lot of you. 
Yeah. Because Magpie is literally setting up like right between uh, two major gangs territories. A apparently they do also do their own cyberpunk system. Oh neat. Uh yeah. Oh right, so yeah, the showdown in Chinatown is a cyberpunk adventure. Uh swim with Kentaro's Revenge. Uh, Thornton, are you gonna be living in, like, N54's, like, <laughs> nice little village that they got set up, um, in that recent DLC? I don't know. It, it's just whatever the, ho uh, the uh, apartment is to start off with, so wherever that would be the most appropriate. Uh, well, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, have a look at that awesome DLC that came out on Bomb Day. Uh, and I guess for anybody that's wondering, August, uh, August 20th, 2023 is why I refer to as Bomb Day, because that's when uh, the uh, Arasaka incident happened. You can always just call it A-Day. <laughs> so, A-Day? Yeah. <laughs> it was A-Day! <laughs> A memorable one, indeed. Oh my gosh, I have so much vampire stuff just in my <laughs> stuff. Oh. All right. So, Thornton, introducing to you <laughs> Network 54's <laughs> New Westbrook Private Acres. You live in a uh, Network 54 corporate-owned duplex in, the, in New Westbrook's scenic hills. You can't walk to work, but the added privacy of the walls around your little community makes up for it. <clears throat> the stars uh, that have to live in headquarters wish that they could have this. Sometimes they crash with their assistant, uh, which is probably your neighbor, uh, to escape the craziness and the noise of the N54 building. And uh, there is uh, plenty of company-sponsored events in the community space, but attendance isn't mandatory, so nobody shows up. Uh, everyone's either partying, resting, or working overtime to impress the boss, and uh, nobody you work with is stupid enough to throw away their precious off time for a pancake made by HR. So, yeah, you uh, get your own nice little duplex. Oh, sweet. Uh, over uh, in uh, New Westbrook. Free pancakes, you say? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> pancake. And it is uh, located at. Let's see, let's see, number. Let's see. Uh, All right, it's uh, located not too far from the executive zone, actually. It's like just a little ways away from the N54 building. Uh, looking at the DLC here, ah, okay. not in a bad spot. In um, acres. Got yourself a nice little place there, um, buddy. Wh where are you thinking you're setting up uh, camp? Then? Um, I mean, I thought uh, I was thinking I was gonna still stick around Old Japan Town. Okay. Because of the one bar I usually play at, which is something I still need to give you information on, so you can use it for future endeavors. But yeah, um, that that was what I was thinking. Maybe like a cargo container All right. or somewhere in Old Japan down. I might um, have to read it. Let me double we'll check what I put on the sheet. Oh yeah, it's cargo yeah. cargo container and kibble sort of life for me. Ah, uh, as is Magpie, tradition. we we got you setting up in uh, Haywood. See, I I still need to work out like what we're going to do about Magpie because it's not like you're living in an actual cargo container. Mm -hmm. I'm wonder if like we just count like what. Well, we'll talk about it and figure out, like, uh, okay, no worries. Yeah. We'll talk about it and figure out, like, what it is that we need to do to uh, get you uh, squared away. I, I don't know, uh, GMs in chat, have you guys had something where you have someone that's, like, setting up a, like, new haven for um, other youth, like, or uh, setting up a home, like, what the costs might be? So, where, where did we say we're having me again, Diamond? Sorry. Just so I can put down um, local expert. It'll, it'll be New Westbrook. New Westbrook. Okay. 
or not New Westbrook, Haywood. 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 You're you're you're, right. in, you're in between. Uh, you're in between basically North Haywood and, and uh, <laughs> like Northern Haywood and Southern Haywood. Southern Haywood also being known as Santo Domingo. Um, you got it. Basically, you've got yourself nestled between Sixth Street and uh, Church of Rapture uh, for territories. Uh, can I get? The, get and I guess uh, Aldecaldo's uh, off to the south uh, east uh, mm-hmm. too. Good thing uh, the six oh, is like uh, little Jays. <laughs> so Magpie is literally building a youth center for the kids. Well, she's building like a like a home place for them. Yeah, like a youth center for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we gotta say yeah. youth, youth housing kind of thing, yeah. Well, that's, that could be like a big plot point if we're trying to help Magpie build this big giant place for the little Jays to hang out at and stay at, yeah. be safe. Then maybe we're just going to yeah, have they... to put on one hell of a show. <laughs> yeah, they... they, they, they uh... Go ahead. Burton's reporting on it. Buddy's playing there. Uh, got a big fireworks show planned at the end. All proceeds go towards charity. Yeah. <laughs> Make it the event of the season. Set up on the outskirts and use a Mr. Biscuits and Airwells in an abandoned building. Yeah, but that means they would have to afford that equipment. Yeah. And between Magpie and I am going to assign Magpie um, currently 10 youth. So you, you, you have... Ba- Basically, uh, t- ten gang members uh, with you, Magpie, when you okay. get there. Um, we'll, we'll we'll figure out names, who they are, soon enough. Mm-hmm. Um, Ock, where is Backslash gonna be running around in? Probably a cube hotel somewhere close in the Haywood area to be able to help out Magpie. Okay. If that's possible. Yeah. Yeah. You and your biscuits. Is there something about biscuits? <laughs> he, he's... Uh, Ock Raven? Yeah. Ogre, uh, Ogre is actually one of my... is my brother, okay? He, he plays in my yep. world, so... He's got an actual thing for his Mr. Biscuit, and he's been trying to sell, you know, help promote the lifestyle of what Mr. Biscuit's wafers can do with the advantage of new tongue and just has been really trying to push that survivalist living green method and i could just i could hear his character's voice as he as he typed that just like no you and your fucking biscuits bro hey william mays here to introduce to you the mr biscuit biscuit literally maker that, yes literally huh? hold on i i i <laughs> i i've considered the idea of like recording some some vocal ads just to I, kind of I fill in. I during, don't think. Uh, but I don't think Willie William Mays actually did the Mr. Biscuit, did he? No, he did not. No. <laughs> but I imagine he. I'd imagine he would sell it if he if, if it probably. lands in his lap. Better <laughs> chip impersonator. Like He'd probably sell his own grandmother if, if he'd be given the opportunity. What the fuck? <laughs> You're not wrong there. Uh, speaking. Speaking of Willie Mays, as uh, as Steak Paul refers to him as uh, w- Willie Mays, <laughs> um, we have a uh, Doc Fourteen Studio Apartments. You live in South Knight City, uh, <laughs> at the end of Doc Fourteen, one dock away from Doc Thirteen, and you suffer for it. William Mays, the local crackpot fixer who runs his business out of Doc Thirteen, is constantly screwing over dangerous gangs. Not to mention a variety of edge runners, corporate security type, and the occasional cop. Uh, because it's Night City, and nearly every week there's another group outside, megaphones out, re- demanding retribution, violence, or otherwise. Uh, we want ruining Jilly your Willy. life by proxy. We want Chili Willy. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a wonderful uh, neighborhood. Oh, yeah. You, you know, South Night City, it's like, it, it's prime real estate. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there's pl- plenty of places to live there because nobody wants to live right, there. So, w- would you say it's free real estate? <laughs> yeah, um, uh, no, it's not. It costs you an, a mighty fine uh, fifteen hundred eddies to live there for a oh, cube so hotel? Studio, apart- studio apartment. Uh, for a studio apartment. 
Oh. Uh, that. Yeah. A oh, studio apartment. Oh, it's gonna but be living in a cube you, hotel. <laughs> let's find. Uh, let's find what cube you might be living in. Uh, cube. It's like hold on. Um, hold on. No, no, we're not put. We're not putting you in a studio. Don't worry. <laughs> about, I'm about to throw the best party in the world and leave and fuck my security deposit. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the. That sounds like the most rocker boy thing. I know a guy. I, I, I've heard. <laughs> All right, Ah oh, Raven. We got. We, we've got a couple. Uh, there really isn't cube hotel. Okay, there really isn't any marked cube hotels in uh, Haywood, but I can come up with something. I, I I got some ideas for you know what what you might be dealing with. Maybe just people that you know working long days, so it's just it's got that constant smell of body odor in the building. <laughs> uh, like if yeah, I gotta be farther no, away, uh, you know, I'm good either way. That, that sounds fine. If I have to be farther away, that works too for the story. I'm. Well, I mean. We we can easily get a cube hotel popped up in Haywood. I'm just thinking, like, what what kind of quirks can we give it? Oh, give it all! Give it all the quirks. <laughs> it's like cube hotels are kind of rough, and uh, mm. you know, like, especially if you you got like a gang occupied one. Which honestly, I plan to do a little bit more with gangs. I I, I mm -hmm. I'm gonna figure out like what I want want to work with. Speaking of which, gangs um, outside the little J's and. What well, sounds like, by, uh, by by proxy or not by proxy, but just by relation, Sixth Street. Any other gangs that I need to be aware of that people have connections to? The albino There's alligators. Some... Yep, the albino alligators. Uh, Thornton. <laughs> yep. Because we gotta do that. I I actually have a player uh, in my game who's associated with the albino alligators as well. Nice. Uh, works work in recruitment for them, in, in fact. I want you to join the Alabano Earth, the Alabano, the Albino, the Albino alligators. alligators. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, uh, I wasn't planning it, but I mean, I will happily throw some ideas I, I, I could do with that story-wise. But sure, I, what I, you got? I, you know, I was like, my, well, my, the main idea I was going to try to do was help actually, you know, you know, uh, Magpie with the whole student center thing and you know, angle, but. Maybe. Let me pull up my booster gang list here. Yeah. Wasn't sure if you guys had uh, any other groups in mind. Um, of course, uh, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, Sasha, you know, you help, help me continue the story. What are the Jays' opinions on Generation Red? Uh, who's Generation Red again? Uh, in Danger Gal Dossier, they're the they're they're the O gang of Danger Gal Dossier. Um, Apex's group. Um, probably like uh, probably neutral opinion, honestly. Like fair play to them for for like standing up for themselves as well. But uh, if they get in our way, we'll uh, do the same thing we do to any other gang. Just, uh, I, I, their mamas. Not, not, not go out of our way to antagonize each other, basically. Buddy, that's bold to assume that they even have mothers. <laughs> <laughs> Mother figures. Okay, all right. Well, uh, well, then again, there's two Petrochem uh, execs that their child left with a. Uh, oh. Curve with the uh, was it Midnight Ar Arms SDF 45. Basically, the giant uh, two rocket launcher that uh, Tequila fired out of the uh, AV AV at the other AV. <laughs> it was oh, that old thing. Yeah, that old. Yeah, there's a kid that's running around. A little kid, uh, Tetra, that runs around with that. Mm. Like little, little, little bitty kid. I mean, if if they if they need support, then uh, little Jays will help them out because your gang has got to stick together. Um. Ah, here we go. But in regards to your cube hotel, Ock, and I suppose for anybody who's wondering what about cube hotels, think like the capsule hotels, yeah. where literally you get in and you are in your room. Yeah, you you, you have a box. Uh, like, yep. you, it's claustrophobic. If, if you if you spread your arms out, you can touch each wall. 
Cube hotels are located in zones with corporate, moderate, and combat threat rating. This is by far the cheapest way to live in the city. You have a single windowless room with a nice strong lock where you can touch both walls if you spread your arms. The flat pack furniture folds out of the walls, converting yourself from a chair with a desk and a, to a bed with a small television. Living here, you can't realistically have more things than you could carry at a given time. Plus the contents of a back, uh, plus the contents of a backpack, which you can safely store behind the bed when it folds into the wall. Um. Let's see. Sleeping with more than one person in a cube is always considered sleeping uncomfortable and will leave you fatigued the next day. Minus two to everything while you're fatigued. Yeah. Uh, down the hall, past your equally compacted neighbors, there is a common room that has running water with a bathroom and a shower. Man, imagine sharing a shower with like 20 other people on your floor. <laughs> And they all work in, like, the industrial zone. Yeah, that, that thing is going to be clogged constantly. <laughs> uh. Yeah. it's And even going near this common room is a bad idea unless you are properly gang-affiliated. Most of these people keep thro three water bottles in their room and just avoid the entering the common room. Wait, three water... Yeah, for washing and drinking. Oh! Oh! Well, oh, oh! I was thinking, like, you know, seeing how the bathrooms down the hall, you're gonna need... I, yeah, uh, washing, drinking, and using. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> bottle for each. What, go, what goes yeah. in must come out. <laughs> yep. Kadashi pressure so, tech uh, shower head uh, deals yes. one damage to an unarmed target every twenty minutes. They said showering. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I mean, it'll it'll clean you off. It'll clean you off real good. Yeah, it, to to use it safely, you need subdermal armor, basically, or like skin weave yep. or skin weave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, we also have uh, soundproofing or lack thereof. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. The cube hotel is not going to be soundproof whatsoever. <laughs> Let's see. Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to see, like, if there's a. Uh... It... I don't know it, if you'd be able to even uh, install K Tech all purpose into your, into a cube hotel room. No. Maybe into a cargo <laughs> container, but not not a cube hotel. I wouldn't think you install that in a cube. No. <laughs> Considering the room idea. is basically entirely taken up by the bed when it folds out. But of course, yeah, uh, you you need to get they, they 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 might they might always be late for installation, but they still expect that twenty eddy tip before <laughs> uh, they get started. Um, you can even get yourself a Continental brand smart oven. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Cook with all flavors of kibble. And also real instant coffee, TM. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I mean, you, 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 you could get all that, or you could just get a new tongue so you can taste so you, the food that you eat tastes like that. Ooh. <laughs> so, uh, I think, uh, so I mean, just kind of looking at, looking at this uh, with following you guys. Um, I know Buddy is working on trying to become the best rocker boy in Night City. Uh, but is there any uh, other nearby objectives that that you're thinking of with Buddy? Um, I mean, you got to start somewhere, and somebody mm -hmm. there can be only He's one. Trying after to, all. I guess, make his way to get into something better, bigger. So, I wouldn't be surprised. Like he wants to find a an actual good job that pays steady while he's trying to rock and roll all night and have a wonderful time. <laughs> but yeah, I well, I mean, you can find work doing other things as well. Yeah, you know, because sometimes you know, there's business and then there's yeah. 
in this I bitch. I don't know. I really don't know about that. There's taking care of business, and then there's taking care of business. There's TCB, and then there's TCB. Would you like a cup of coffee? <laughs> uh, I would love a cup of coffee. <laughs> get, please, get... I like, for, like my coffee like I like my women. In a plastic <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Any answer. I mean, I about yes. went for a really, really dark, dark joke during uh, Cyberpunk last night. Of just like, you know, some of these scavs like their women how they like their coffee. In multiple Browned up and in the fridge. The Jesus. <laughs> it's just like... I mean, they're scabs, like, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, I finally, you know, I, I, I got a question. How, how dark, how dark do we want, does, does this group, uh, want their campaign? Yes. Go as dark as you want. Uh, I love, yeah, I, I love it. Like I said, I can scroll it and we can sell <laughs> it. So. Oh, you're just finding the profit and everything, aren't you? Yeah, and I'm just here for the color or color commentary and violence. That's just. I, I mean, <laughs> we're 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 getting your gangers involved. So if if they're being put in danger, it's already going to be kind of dark. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. I, a little. Mm, that's actually another thing I wanted to discuss because yo gangers are going to become a much more prevalent group with this uh, bunch, in, especially in regards to magpie. What's everyone feeling about it? Like, where does everybody stand in regards to me uh, attacking a yo ganger hideout with uh, booster gangs and whatnot? I mean, they're they're a gang, so yeah. It's motivation to kill, so yeah. yeah. Um, I wouldn't say you know, play it out and act it out and stuff. I mean. Oh yeah, you could yeah. you could pretty much just <laughs> tell us yeah. the aftermath of it, and that'll get us all riled. Yeah, up. I, I I agree with Ogre. Duncan Hill's coffee dark, blacker mm -hmm. than the blackest black times infinity. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll do it the yeah. Fallout way. We know it's it's going on, but when you actually try to put a gun to the kid, it doesn't work. <laughs> It, it, yeah, I, 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 no, no harm, no like open harm to the children. Yeah. That, 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 that's kind of mm -hmm. where my, my lines are. Mm -hmm. But like, it, it is the dark future, and I, I just, I, I, I have to, you know, make sure I know where the lines are drawn. Right. I mean, uh, I'll punt a kid. <laughs> I, you know, they are punchable. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm gonna not sound afraid really... to hurt a child. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is going to sound really messed up for a second, but I mean, one, it, it's a fantasy role-playing game. Yep. Okay. Uh, and I say fantasy because it's just none of it's real. Yeah. Okay. So we're not actually hurting kids. We're not actually stealing things. We're not actually doing shit tons of drugs off hookers' back. Maybe you do. I'm not, you know, I... we're not kink-shaming here. Okay. I'm about to say, uh, <laughs> don't speak for yourself. <laughs> not kink-shaming. I don't want to assume. <laughs> Okay. Well, but in it, it is the dark future. You're going to see kids do some dark things you did in 2077. It, it is as a factor I mean, of the world. I mean, e even in uh, the core rule book, they even talk about that. You know, kids are going to be laughing at stuff that we would just be absolutely horrified by. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just want to make sure that we are. Yeah. Yeah, we we we, we, we kind of need to keep things Twitch appropriate, but I mean, yeah, that I I don't have any issue with like, uh, them getting involved in combat because they're 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 a gang at the end of the day. Like it's yep. night Night City ain't gonna go easy on them just because they. Correct. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Insert age appropriate metaphor here. <laughs> Yeah, the, the book's very clear on the you know it's a kill or be killed situation. If you get yeah, if we get put in a situation that's my life or theirs, my character is always going to choose himself. Yeah, that, that that's a selfish situation, but it's also that real world. How would you mm -hmm. react? Mm -hmm. Are you, you know? That, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, you got folk like Maelstrom and that running around. They're not going to 
care how tall mm -hmm. they're, the person that they're ripping apart is. Yeah. Right. That is unless they, uh, unless that person is specifically eight feet tall and packed yeah. full of chrome. Yeah. Then they care. Kind of... Yeah, as, as soon as it's year old, I'll tell you that. Uh, well, as, as soon as it's Crusher, yeah, they 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 probably care because like, uh, oh, yeah. oh fuck, <laughs> they're they're angry God basically. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like a lot of the gangs aren't gonna care like if the if the people they're fighting are a few years south of uh, of age. So I never it's... heard that one before. A few years south. I got it from Pop Fuzz. A uh, few years ah. south of proper. Mm hmm. Um. He let's just say I pissed in God's eye and he blinked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. To our exec, how much, uh. Exec, like. How much of, uh. Bu business, uh, is. How involved do you want your boss in everything? So that's... That actually is a good segue to something I kind of want to bring up with you guys. I was playing around with a, a thought on... On a way to show how evil corpse could be, especially in the entertainment industry. All right. So, yeah. I... A little bit of backstory. Thornton's dad would have been from South Louisiana. His mom is a local. So he is half uh, Cajun French, half Japanese. Mm. How would you guys feel? And I kind of want to float this before I just had it set up. How would y'all feel if N54 had said, okay, you're wrestling for us now. You're, you're going to be one of our up and coming stars. Great. As part of your package, you are now required, as we're putting in all your cyberware, we're going to body sculpt you, and you're going to take out all the Asian aspects and go oh. as far into the you're a Cajun as possible. Makes sense. That's... Oh. But it sounded a little dark, so that's kind of what I want to talk about before I, I just said I mean, that. They, they of all the much... shit that I've had, that's... Right. Uh, go, go ahead, Jim. They've pretty much just wiped your cultural you know, identity. So you've got every right in the world to be pissed at the corpse. But that's the thing. I'm so that's off right now. I'm okay with it. Okay. Yeah, because he's he's run right, he's running on uh 1.5 empathy right now. Oof. Right. Oh, 1.5? Yes, he's got 15 oh. humanity. So oh he's boy. he's so you, you know, you, you, you've already got like three You've already got like three symptoms of like the hair thing, How? cyber psych because, like psychosis thing. Yeah, Jesus. Because the, the poser chip pushed a lot of that over the edge. Oh. Wow. And that's half of why they got the chip in him is they got him off kilter, but at the same time, they're forcing that personality and that whole aspect on him as here is the character, this dude is just the flesh puppet that we have inserted into it. Jesus. Puppet. That's... Yes. that's fuck. So, that, I that, love that. that. I love it. <laughs> uh, I... Yeah. It's supposed to be a game of the dark future, not a game of the dark present. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it works. I, I, I can see that. Um, and that's mm -hmm. why he has Betty. Betty is as much to keep an eye on him and if he flips the fuck out to put his ass down as anything else. Jesus. And then however we're going right. to do that relationship on how however close that she gets with him, you know, that's that's an evolution that we can talk about. But that's as much, you know, she's as his, his, his minder for that exact reason. Yeah, I so not only does he have a boss, his boss is also basically his babysitter in a sense. Yeah. Or and she answers they... to him. Uh, which would oh. be you know, he oh, he's answering wait, Vic, Betty's Vince your... McMahon. You know, that okay. kind of thing. Yep. Right, so uh Betty's his employee basically is what you're saying. 
Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, I I got I got my uh, stuff. Uh, Can I get that? Around. Oh yeah, yeah, again, real quick. Just oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. We're going to get on to this right here. You're not. You're not Three even a real journalism. <laughs> we just watched that clip earlier. But. <laughs> of course, bone saw is ready. The cream of the chat there to the top. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole. I, I might actually smushed all those guys together, and here you go. I'm gonna have to find like old WWF footage. I, I hate to call it old, but I wasn't even around when the WWF was around. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to go back, and I'm gonna have to watch. And so on Peacock. WWF and WCW old episodes are on there. I started rewatching some of that stuff. You know, Monday Night Raw I, and Nitro and all that. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I thought of uh, a kind of on, on the nose wrestler named Bulk Brogan. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's a muscle so, uh, Joe Rogan. <laughs> thank, thank, th thank you so much, Sasha. Cause I, I, had, I, I was thinking like Bulk, but it's like what can I do for another uh, <laughs> part of that name? It's like, Bulk, 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 Bulk Brogan. <laughs> Lo I love it. But of course, of course, chat. Chat, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing back a favorite for you guys. Bone Breaker. There will breaker be a return bones. of your misfit iron sight. Bone Breaker. Breaker Bones. <laughs> you mean Bone Breaker? Breaker of Bones? Yes, <laughs> Bone Breaker. Breaker, breaker of, bones. of, in fact, Bones. Oh, Bit of a... he's not some skinny pencil necked geek. He's a roided out monstrosity. Oh, I wouldn't say he's a roided out or anything. He's uh, I just, mean, we, uh... we ended up fighting him with uh, Eddie's and Alphine's crew. And yep. yeah. Yeah. He, 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 he's, he's, got his ass he's built. Kicked. He's built, but he didn't get his ass kicked. He, <laughs> he's a big guy, you know. Uh, I suppose for anyone that's played FF14, and if you've seen them, uh, if you've seen Godbert Manderville, that's kind of what I'm going for for the build with Bonebreaker. He's yeah. just he's just comically big. As long as he doesn't and pull the hammer the, out of the, his ass. The, oh, oh gosh, I just finished like the Stormblood arc of the the, the Hildebrand quest. Mm -hmm. just, oh, mm -hmm. oh fuck! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh yeah! But yeah, uh, very very built. Very little clothing most of the time because subdermal armor. Same. <laughs> and uh <laughs> well, I get I get skimmed, um, but <clears throat> now with uh now with backslash, what's the big goal with backslash? Just like what's your objective? To spend more money in your campaign than anyone else ever has. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What was the biggest expense that we've had? I, uh, we we bought the penthouse with uh, after winning the body lottery. Oh. Most people usually oh, yeah, do that the, when the, they win the body lottery. The, the, Instantly, the, yeah, yeah. The, the, it's like a like a, a checklist. Yeah, the bloated body. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they, they got to a point where they were promoting as bloated body, where the body lotto just got so fucking big. Yeah, but, Payout ended up being 350000 Uh so, no, wasn't it even more than that? Was it not like almost a million? Uh, 350000 Yeah, 350000 though, after taxes. Yep, you gotta count that 60% tax they take back. <laughs> right. Of course. Um, but yeah, because we, we were able to just like that was also buy a... A penthouse suite, and then like split the money up with with the rest of us. But that was also before I knew how the body lotto worked. Now that I know how the body lotto works, it's one number you gotta guess it, and you know, I'm just thinking like, oh, is, is it just one know, number you, for the entire city that you have yeah. to guess? Is it? Okay. And our so, took a real dark turn. Yep. So, so, well, he, so he, it was he, even more impressive he, that we got that the razor got the six numbers. All correct in the correct order as well. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna I wanna make a million eddies and spend two million. I wanna become a good enough <laughs> net runner that I you know money is never an issue and, and anonymity 
of my craft is, you know, legendary throughout the city. I'm going to do some dark things so I can live a luxurious lifestyle like I was once accustomed to growing up. And okay. I, it's not one of those like, I have 50,000 eddies, I'm set for life. No, no, that's chump chains. I'll blow that in a night. <laughs> I want 50 million eddies. I might look at retirement for like a year or so after that. <laughs> So it's an unattainable goal. I'm not trying to don't, don't think it's a it's a pressure kind of thing, but they want to make a lot of money because it's going to be able to help out the the kids' home that Magpie is trying to make. But also, the character wants to live a very wasteful, luxurious lifestyle and have the money. So, do well, be a I mean, you're prominent. You, you, you want to? I mean, if you so if you, you do you, help out with the little Jays thing, you'll always have them the Jays on your side. <laughs> that, that was, um. So what you're saying is, and uh, Sasha, looking directly at you, because I'm thinking, like, hitting the, that Wayback Machine, mm -hmm. you need to go clear out a, a uh, vault's corporate uh, a corporate vault of liquid funds, is what we're saying here. <laughs> oh, we're we going to do another uh, vault heist, do we? Okay. Or, you know, find that, you know, catch on the dark web and, you know, get some you know, data crash and some Bart Mosses mm -hmm. to steal a bunch of old money from, you know, many years ago like oh yeah yeah like or or we or we could go find the uh the freezer dweller himself mm -hmm. <laughs> like the, the character I thought, was literally I, one of those i will never get bored i thought fridge money. boy got crushed no he, he you find him in 2077 but you do oh, yeah. yeah 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 well quest with him mm -hmm. well, what yeah it, oh it, yeah i mean he, he, i didn't know no spoilers the freezer but uh Oh, how do you oh, I didn't know. How do you think it got there? Yeah. <laughs> I I thought the closest thing we had to reference of Bart Moss was uh, Lilith. No. No. Yeah, you 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 <laughs> find him. <laughs> yeah. Jack and shit. I mean, yep. yeah. I mean, or, oh. There, there's a street level thing though with my character between A and B, and I and I'm aware of that. You know, scavenging tech, trying to you know get proper net running gear still trying to help out the jays and you know magpie for sure but the character still has goals yeah or well it seems 2077's body lotto is yeah i guess one number so looking at the body lottery the night city body lottery is a regular nightly lottery where six winning numbers are chosen depending on how many corpses are found in night city Numbers in the body lotto are taken from six random districts uh, in the Night City Greater Metro area. There you go. So, so and, it, it was done correctly. Okay, so it was six numbers. Okay. I am smart. Uh, numbers are derived from the locations that the cadavers are found, not necessarily where they were murdered. <laughs> so, shapers. So we we can mess with it a little by uh, moving bodies around. <laughs> Only if you could figure out where the actual body marker points are. Yeah. But yes, yes, you can. And yeah. uh, all numbers are accumulated by the Night City Police Department, or what remains of it, um, and are verified by the investment firm Merrill Escuga and Finch. People holding the winning ticket must contact the downtown offices uh, by 10 a.m. the next morning. If no one claims the winning ticket, the night's winnings go up by two thousand or by one thousand eddies. Uh, real quick, before you, while well, you have it right there, do me a favor. What was the name of that investment firm? Merrill Escuga uh, and Finch. Huga and Finch. So they're, really, they're what you need to do, uh, you just need to hack them and falsify the numbers for one day. Make sure it's your ticket. <laughs> That's asking for a lot of oh, heat. Corporate Tata, see how this man uh, earns a thousand eddies a night with this one little trick. <laughs> but it, you're, you're completely right. It is. It's it's a way to get on a corporate bad side. But if you can, all, all, you, all you need is a really good net runner to do a dive down into the corporate net and then plant a virus uh -huh. uh, with a little agent remote. <laughs> but you're gonna have to have it like a or like some way to just punch in the numbers yourself. Correct. Find a good enough net runner to do it and agree to split, split the profits 50-50 with them. Or be a good enough net runner to do it yourself. 
or just shoot him at the end of it. Shh. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I mean, you know, if you got a good enough net runner to help you do that, you know, keep him around. You know, might want to do it again in eight or ten months. Like that one guy in Cali, he, like that actually figured out the system back in the '90s and won like several months in a row. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was that couple mm -hmm. in that yep. movie. The I mean, we that. got, I mean, we got like one guy in our state who has won like, like three different, I, I think like three or four different lotteries like in the same year. And, uh, like, the state looked into him to see, like, what the deal was, and it just so happened he was just really lucky. <laughs> but it, it, it wasn't, like, even the same lottery game. It was, like, three different lottery games. Or, yeah. He, he won one of them twice. And he, he won the state lottery once. He won one of the national lotteries. And, or, not. No. Yeah. Like that, you know. Yeah. Was, was, was the power? I think he won one genie. Powerball. <laughs> Um, two of the small state lotteries and the one bigger state lottery in our in, in here. It's like shapers. But I mean, if you want a but, if you want a more street level goal, I can give you that though. I'm not sure if that helps you at all, Diamond. Yeah, that that's totally fine. Like I I I'm all for it. Um. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're. It was just more looking for some ideas, options, uh, just kind of figuring out what we uh, want. Um, but yeah, now Body Lotto. I'm just wondering, how would we want to implement the Body Lotto in this game? It, it, like, yeah, yes, Ock? I have an idea. What's up? So I did this in my world, and so you not saying you have to do it, it's a suggestion. Uh, if somebody wins the body lottery, they get put into a worse lottery. They're now a number in a lottery that the rich people use. You see, <laughs> letting some purse mook off the street make 350000 $1.68 million after taxes, <clears throat> um, you know, that's not a person you want in high society. Look at them. However, killing them and take their money is a game now. Between your rich echelon kind of eccentric, you know, trillion heirs in, you know, that are around, corporate people that have nothing, you know, there is no big sport anymore, but this is You're tagging the game. We're in a gaster. I think I've seen this movie before. Yep. <laughs> If it is a movie, let me know because it like I I missed that one. I would love to watch it. Ice T, the dangerous game. Oh, oh, surviving the game. Uh, I could see that as being a possibility of yeah, of like you win the pool, now you're in another pool. It's a, it's a game of survival after after that point, or you know you getting you know signing up or you know paying off one of those people or trying to you know dodge assassins or making deals Did with the people who want you know your your the head out on you because if i so the the, the let's come back two steps so let's say sasha you win the lottery you go now into what i call you know what i call the actual body lottery <laughs> you're now a number in that lottery if the rich people who actually bet on that lottery if they can quantify your time and place of your death what is the odds of that cool <laughs> i'm going to bet on those odds now is it more worthwhile to me to make that happen or let that happen organically i want yeah. i say you're going to die at 302 p.m on this street no one believes it and they want to see it cool i'm now going to hire an assassin to try to make sure it happens <laughs> See, honestly, with how often That's we got attacked in that penthouse, it feels like that that was actually the fucking case. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it's very much like that, C-Dot, you know, except you don't, you're not willingly taking on the role of the rabbit. Since you have to show up at the actual financial office in person to collect your money, that's how they get the information on you and know who you are and basically becomes that hunt, you know, that hunt sport kind of game. 
but yeah, uh, that that that's my suggestion towards that. And the money that the, that the book off the streets getting for that is it allows At them to get out for it. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. That, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's dark. I run a <laughs> fucked up living world. That's why it's like what, what Jack suggested with the corporate background. I was like, I 100% see this. We need to talk about ultimate sparkles. Because, mm hmm. <laughs> dark. Extra dark. Dark roast it, then put it through a pot and do it again. I know the coffee's done when the spoon stands up. Mm hmm. Uh, that 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 that's how you do gravy. <laughs> that's true. It was a it was a three point two million uh, lottery jackpot, and then I took sixty six percent of it in taxes. In the end, they got like one point six, one point eight, a million eddies, is what Ogre got. And then the troubles began. <laughs> that's how it always begins when you get the biggest target painted on your back. Well, that's the thing. You win the body lottery, everyone knows you have money. Yep. And that might then doesn't sit around because you're going to be trying to get yourself out as much as possible. Yep. That's how you get the really big toys in the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll see. And to, uh, and, and not to, but to actually carry on with that, because I see Gastron them talking about it. So one of the rich people who had a leg in that body race who wanted to kill Ogre's character actually had was helping bring medical supplies into night city and furnish up several hospitals with the regular goods they need to make nano sutures nano healing speed heals you know just general medical goods well he didn't want the person to go hiding so he forbid any shop from doing work on him involving body sculpting or you know body manipulation of any kind because if he found out about it he swore he would cut off his supply routes to night city hmm. Shapers. Oh, oh! Speaking of body scout, not to get too far off uh, of what we're talking about. No, it's about, all right. Um, I do uh, want to shoot for the zoo sometime eventually. Really? Uh, for the new humor. Ur Ursa form? Oh, new okay. humor. Okay. Now, I don't think I don't think Thornton could handle an Earth Earth support. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> not right now. No, what, mm, <laughs> not with that extreme therapy. <laughs> but that's I don't even think the... I don't even think with therapy. Yeah. Uh, Is what, that Earth form? What, what's your uh, empathy? You're starting oh, empathy. I, my my base is eight. So Earth form alone is a fifty-two humanity loss package. Yeah. But every every piece that I already have, you subtract that by two. Every board wear, you subtract by four. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's 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 rough. If it's duplicates, but yeah. Yeah, because uh, the the it's already been taken off you, what you've got currently. Yeah. Now. I would basically, with, possibly... with with the uh, with them, they they basically give you the, the absolute minimum humanity loss for each piece. Well, yeah, because mm -hmm. I mean, you're you're going through loads of therapy while you're at this question, aren't Mesh? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I, I PWB, uh, it's literally just uh, they find the bodies, yeah. like they they find the bodies and they record them. I, I mean, so if, you could really if there's a serial killer day. out there, then that that's just part of the body lottery. Oh fuck, my model's breaking. Oh fuck, I'm breaking, I'm breaking. Oh fuck. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Oh, uh, oh, 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 no, oh. Diamond's having a stroke. Oh no, I'm breaking. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 th I think your your webcam might be glitching uh, it a little there, hon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you good? 
This is what low humanity looks like. Look, I don't have that much cyberware <laughs> backed in me. <laughs> we could always go with the draconic fa uh, uh, Fanta form. Because then he really looks like an alligator. <laughs> I would love to find a wise man oh my for my goodness. Netrunner. But I know that's not going to happen. Crab Lord! I got nothing. Uh, uh, Crab Lord? Okay. You know, Crab Lord with his uh, awesome AI, Rock Lobster. Uh, yeah, li literally, that that's the name of Crab Lord's uh, AI is... Uh, from uh, DangerGal.ca Rock Lobster. I, I would have but... gone with Rock Nest Monster if it was somebody like Brock Simpson. <laughs> That's actually one of his names, too. Yeah. Damn, <laughs> I come out of the cake, say Sphinx, Sphinx, you go all Brock <laughs> Nest Monster on him. <laughs> See, if you could totally pull that trigger, you wouldn't want to. <laughs> Uh, yes. Demons installed. Rock Lobster. A Balron with a little too much personality. How much is too much? Jesus Christ, Poo and Poo Bindi. BWB? No. Yeah. That's... <laughs> uh, I think it's where the majority of the body is, uh, BWB. Uh, so you don't, if you have smart glasses, they cover over the cyber eyes, so you can only use yep. one or the other. Uh, you can use both, actually. Can you? Oh, okay. You just can't yeah. double up the same cyber type. Because the, mm -hmm. the battle glove, yeah. the battle glove me, uh, says you can only use it or the arm, and you can't use both. Well, that, that's because so uh, th that, that thing goes over your arm, and you can't I really mean, pop anything out so, of your arm. So does the so does the uh, smart glasses. They go over your cyber optics. Yeah. So. But you could... I, I imagine like the only like cyber optic you couldn't possibly use is dark like <laughs> the, the chip or well the, the, yeah dark gun like the chipware storage because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know you can roll your eye back and just uh drop uh, your uh chips in there including your credit chip <laughs> uh i think like skill chips or uh, hold on, I, I got it, like, right here on the card, because it, it came on, on, on the back, uh, it was basically the backing for the pins. I mean, it, it's basically just a storage, they don't do anything in there, it's just, like, if you need to hide something small like a chip, you can hide it in there, so... That's, yep. That's why you hide your credit chip Good in player. there, so if you ever get robbed, they ain't getting your, your eddies. Alright. Well... I think on that note, with uh, this information in hand, I don't know about you guys, but do you have any other comments, concerns, snide remarks? Uh, Plenty, but... A a <laughs> what? Always, but not at the moment. All right. And we'll tap well, out right now. <laughs> no, it's all right. I, I, I think uh, we're, we're at a good spot. Like, it, it's been, we've, we've been on for about an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and... It was just more covering like what we're gonna be getting into. I'm gonna get yeah. Kiwi and uh, and uh, Sean's information, Sean. and then I will send it off, and we'll get uh, Shock and Awe up and going next week. Yep. Uh, same same bat time, same bat channel. Can, so uh, I'm looking forward to rolling dice with you guys again. Yes. Can you fix up roll twenty for our new uh, sheets? That way I can start putting put my stuff oh, in ahead of time. I, I thought you guys could make sheets. Uh, yeah, let I, me I, uh, just... I was uh, able to make Buddy last time I was in there. So. Yeah, you you can make your own character sheet, because I did oh, it okay. with Magpie. Uh, double check. Oh, All right, okay. so you just, can make your yeah, sheets? Yeah, just okay. under the journal, yeah. just at the top, plus character. All right, I got it. All right. Well, I suppose on that note, friends, uh, we are going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, uh, I missed the, the show again. Well, at PWB, this is just more behind the scenes, so it's no big fuss. Yeah, we're, uh, we're just talking about stuff. <laughs> so, on that note, we will begin shock and awe next week. Uh, we'll have uh, basically session. I I I, I guess session one and a half. 
<laughs> One. Well, se session half. Because we, we've already technically had like session zero with these discussions, but uh, we do still need to introduce uh, Sean's character and Kiwi's yeah, we'll... character, so... Yeah. So, we'll... Uh... We'll go ahead and uh, tack that on for next week, and uh, I think we are good to go. Um, I guess other than that, can't. Do I have the ability to send people out? Uh, uh, can, can I? Do I have the raid command? No, you. Do I you, have? You've the... you've tried it before. You don't have the ability to raid. Oh yeah, that's right. I I don't have the ability to raid. Is there anybody in the chat who has the ability to raid? That is my question. Because there might be uh, someone I, that... I think only uh, the channel owner has the ability to do that, so... Uh, yeah, probably Rob. You know what? That's okay. Well, I suppose on that note, you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys next week. Of course, uh, for those of you guys who might be wondering, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be on later today. We'll be doing some more FF14 tonight over on my channel. But, CNU, what do you have on the schedule tonight? Let's have a look, why don't we? Coming to you tonight on CNU. <laughs> All right. What do we have on the uh, agenda oh. for seeing you tonight? <laughs> Careful looking at things on Discord Diamond because it, it, it's full screen. I I, I had it on seeing you. Yep. All right, I don't have any. Uh, uh, there's no, there's nothing suspicious here. <laughs> don't be. There's suspicious. nothing unusual don't here. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> well, okay, I don't see like what else is happening this evening. However, stay posted. I or does anybody know if the uh, PWD? <laughs> PWD and, what do you have a show going on tonight? No, they'll. I'll be seeing the, you. The, they'll, God they'll damn it! Like, All right. <laughs> I love that PWD. I. I... <laughs> All right. Well, I. 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 I, I think it's time for uh, me to uh, say goodbye then. So uh, <laughs> you all uh, have yourselves. A lovely day then gosh <laughs> dang it. Uh, i i can't believe i fell for that i fell for that I can't believe you fell for wrong dog the other night <laughs> what? Uh, uh, all right guys i'll i'll see you around bye, bye everybody keep circling urls we'll see y'all next week <laughs> Are you that change? <laughs>